you know you cannot be a priest. You also know you should not be a priest. You know that. The Lord knows that. And yet, you are going to be a priest today. Why? It is a mystery. It is a mystery that is frightful. It is a mystery that makes us afraid. Napakasaya ko po ngayon. Masaya kasi punong-puno po ng pasasalamat ang aking puso. Nagpapasalamat kasi napakarami niyo pong sumabay sa aking journey sa buhay pagpapari. Nagpapakasalamat kasi pinadala po kayo sa akin ng Diyos. Sa sobrang dami ang hirap na pong isa-isahin kayo at dito napapatunayan ko na ang galing-galing talaga ng Diyos. Lahat po kayo ay bahagi ng aking bukasyon. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. We belong to the class of sinners. And you know your sins. The Lord knows your sins. The Lord knows my sins. I should not be a bishop, I know that. I cannot be a bishop, I know that. But I am because of the mystery of God's mercy. And I, your unworthy servant, who has been ordained today as a priest for the church, all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen gracefully to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, <laughs> gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. We are speechless when we face the mystery of God. And in our weakness, in our disability, let us borrow the words of God Himself and pray as God's family. It is a mystery that is frightful and yet fascinating. Mysterium tremendum et fascinans. It is a mystery that makes us afraid when we look at ourselves. But it is a mystery that is so fascinating. We are magnetized by it. We have fixed our goals, our eyes on it. And we cannot look anywhere else because we are caught in awe. We are caught by fascination, by that mysterious grace of God. On the day of your ordination, the song is not Alleluia right away. The song is not Glory to God right away. The plea is, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy because you are asking me to do something that makes me afraid. In our attempts to run away from the Lord, the Lord like the hound of heaven ran after you. You hid from the Lord and the Lord searched for you. You ran away from Him and the Lord ran after you because the Lord has beautiful plans for you that not even dawn can stop. We cannot run away from the Lord. So to this morning, give up running. This morning, just sit down and allow the Lord to say to you, you are small, you are wretched, blackened by sin, like Saul, like Peter, like the adulterous woman, like Zacchaeus, like Matthew, we belong to the same class. And today, just allow the Lord to embrace you and to say, I have written your name on the palms of my hands. You are mine. The question needs to be asked, how will you be a priest? It is still a mystery, Lord. The mystery does not end today. The mystery will continue to unfold for the rest of your life. And it will now be not only a mystery that is frightening and fascinating, it will also be a mystery of misery and mercy. You are going to live a life of a miserable sinner, 
not better than the penitents who will approach you in confession. You will live the life of a miserable sinner. Miserable because of the roots of original sin. I am sure when you enter the seminary, you never dreamt of December 27, 2021. And certainly, not with Mali, not me, not these people behind you. We do not know why. We just say, Lord, if it is your will, it must be the best for us. It is not just about sin. It is about mercy, which is the response of the Lord for you. It is not just about weakness, but it is the strength, which is the gift of God to you. Today, we are going to call you Father Don. You know you should not be a priest. You know you cannot be a priest. You know that. And God knows that. And today, Jesus says to you, I know. I know you. I know you cannot be a priest. I know you should not be a priest. I know you. But you are going to be a priest, the Lord says to you. Because my strength is enough for you. You are going to be a priest because the plan of God is better than your plan. How do you look at yourself 50 years from now? It would still be the same thought. Caught by the frightful mystery of God's love. Enveloped by the fascinating mystery of God's love living in the misery of sin but living also in the mystery of God's mercy this is your story this is God's story in your life Don, may God be glorified in your life